So today I'm going to be talking about how much it costs to cam swap this truck and I'm going to go ahead and do it with the motor running. Because who needs music in the background when you got a cam LS idling? That's music to my ears. But anyways, I'm going to break it down how much it costs to cam this truck. I'm going to get right into it. Um, this was a budget cam swap. I use a very budget friendly camshaft from Jags. It was only 279 for the camshaft. It was uh, it's a low lift, mild duration because it's a 4.8 liter. Um, they can't really handle an aggressive um, cam cut, if you will. It, it can't handle a uh, super large duration because it, it just doesn't have the displacement for it. It does have a 3200 stall and 411 gear to help, um, but either way with the 48, you can't really get too aggressive. So we stayed under 560 on the lift, on the intake and exhaust. And when you stay under 560, you can use LS3, valve springs or uh, LS6, LS2, any of those because those are factory valve springs that can handle up to, you know, 550, 560 lift range um, camshafts. And that's good because that also keeps the budget down, okay? So we're at 279 for the camshaft. Back when I cammed this truck, the LS3 valve springs were $80. And a, a general rule of thumb, if you're using a cam mild enough to use factory LS3 valve springs, um, I think it's okay with factory push rods, okay? But if you have a cam that's aggressive enough, like say more than 560 lift and the duration is pretty aggressive, aggressive enough to where you cannot run factory style valve springs, at that point, you're gonna need to upgrade your push rods to hardened push rods uh, because that's just too much strain on the, on the factory push rods. And I have seen it, um, a cammed LS1 with double springs just bend a push rod like it was nothing uh, that's way too much strain on the factory push rods if you have a super high lift cam and a very strong valve spring it just the stock rod cannot handle that but anyways like i said camshaft 279 valve springs 80 dollars uh that's really it as far as mechanical parts aside from that i just had to get a gasket kit um which consisted of a timing cover uh timing cover seal water pump gaskets all this stuff was like maybe 60 bucks and then of course the oil change and new coolant so all in all just off the top of my head i'm sure i'm going to be off on the math uh let's say 280 for the cam 80 bucks for the valve springs that's 360 plus another let's say 60 bucks 420 that's about 420 dollars for a basic cam swap plus the tune if you got to go somewhere you can expect to pay 400 dollars but I uh, tune this with HP tuners. It's a hundred dollars to unlock the credits. So that's another. I forgot where we're at. Four sixty. Let's say five sixty. So it all five sixty to cam this truck. But if you have to pay a tuner, you can expect to tack on another four hundred. Um, so you're looking basic, basic cam swap eight to nine hundred. Okay. But you get a lot of people that say while you're in there you might as well do this you might as well do that and that's true because these, these trucks are getting higher up in mileage okay that they are uh they're, they're old they're, they're 20 plus 20 plus years old now and they're getting a lot of miles put on them so i'm going to go and run through some of the things that you're going to have to inspect and consider changing while you're doing your cam swap and this will significantly increase the amount it's going to cost you to cam swap so bare minimum $800 if you got to pay someone to tune it. That's with the bare, bare, basic, mild cam swap and paying someone to tune it. Now, if you're going in here and you pull the camshaft out yourself, and this is doing the work yourself, by the way. This is, I cammed it. This is me doing the work. If you got to pay labor, if you got to pay someone else to install the cam, uh, in, in local, in my area, like LS specialists that kind of, you know, do it themselves on the side, three to $500 for labor. So I guess we can go ahead and make that base total 12 to 1300 if you're gonna pay for labor and if you're gonna pay for someone else to tune it. Basically all you're buying yourself is the parts and having everyone else do the work. That's 12, $1,300 for a super mild cam kit. Low lift cam, LS3 valve springs. Uh, because the double valve springs, they about triple the price of valve springs and a high lift or custom ground cam, they run about 400. So right off the bat, that's another $400 if you go with an aggressive cam, double springs, and you gotta get the push rods, that's another like 100 to 150. So that could easily, just by going with the 
more aggressive cam that can up the price an additional four hundred dollars so it can go from twelve to thirteen hundred to seventeen to eighteen hundred easily just like that um okay but let's let's dial it back let's take this back to my scenario it was about eight hundred dollars doing the work myself and the things you're going to inspect for when pulling the cam out you pull the cam out you got to look at the at the cam bearings okay because they they do wear out uh you'll notice a copper color in the bottom of the camshaft because all the stress is all going to be like at six o'clock on the uh cam bearings i'm sorry i think i said cam low but i meant to say it was cam bearings so you're going to want to look at your cam bearings that'll significantly increase the price if your bearings are shot because you're going to have to pull the motor you're going to have to strip it down have a machine shop do the work um that almost makes it not worth even doing it honestly <laughs> uh, you might as well cut. i mean nowadays you can find five threes for like 400 bucks uh they're in good shape anyways okay so yeah you got to consider the cam bearings being worn out you have to consider the timing chain components being worn out as far as the cam gear and the oil pump gear by inspecting that you can tell if that's going to need to be replaced because the gears on the sprockets um real quick they're supposed to be plateaued right they come to a point i'll see if i can find um a picture of it in, in one of my other videos but the, t the teeth on the sprockets, they're supposed to be plateaued. And if that plateau wears to a fine point, that's how you know it's got a ton of miles. It's worn out. Better off replacing your timing chain uh, setup, gears and chain. And not only that, but if uh, a lot of people say while you're in there, might as well upgrade your oil pump because you're going to be right there looking at the oil pump face to face. So it's like you might as well replace the oil pump. Um, so let's see time and chain kit that can rate that's a couple hundred bucks oil pump again a couple hundred bucks let's say 400 bucks for a timing chain kit and, and oil pump um, let's see and a lot of people say might as well replace the lifters as well that's going to significantly increase the price because um, you, uh, you got to pull the heads on these LS engines it's not like an old school 350 where you have where you can just re you know remove the intake manifold and have easy access to the lifters no you have to pull the cylinder heads on these engines so, so that'll significantly in, increase the price so if we do what everyone out there says because every time i was like hey this is my cam truck i did it for 800 bucks they're like oh what about the lifters what about the oil pump what about the timing chain what about you know what about this and that that if you add everything up it's more than the value of the truck you know i just don't you know if it's your truck yeah do it that's fine do everything rebuild the motor if you want to but if to me if the truck is running 100% before you cam it, no weird, you know, lifter ticks, noises, you have perfect oil pressure, no oil leaks. Like this truck, it's idling at like 50 PSI. You know, it's only got like 130,000 miles. This motor is great. In a lot of circumstances, I don't think it's necessary to replace the lifters. And a lot of the lifter talk is from like old flat tappet cams where the cam lobes where they, uh, they wear into the lifter in a very specific pattern to where you have to replace the lifters along with the camshaft. You can't do one or the other. But these have roller lifters. A lot of people, they're in that old school mentality where the cam and lifters come as, you know, as a kit, as a pair together. That's not the case on these. You don't, it's not 100% necessary. Recommended? Yes, of course. Necessary? No, it's not. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you do what everyone says you gotta do, I'm gonna run through the list. You know, lifters, oil pump, timing chain, cam bearings. That turns this $800 cam swap into like three, four thousand dollars when you take into consideration, you know, having to strip the motor down, have a machine shop, line hone, and install the bearings. See, a lot of people don't feel comfortable doing that themselves. Cam bearings can be a pain in the butt. So, anyways, that's a real quick rundown of what it cost me to cam swap this uh 2000 chevy silverado single cab short bed and it sounds great there's no it doesn't hesitate everything about this truck is just budget and it all works together perfect it's got a budget quarter intake it's got budget headers they're um i believe speed engineering headers with the off-road y pipe it's got a really nice drag pack setup it's got weld wheels 3200 stall 411 gear it's just it's a good package for a 48 you don't have to spend top dollar to have things come together and work together very good you just have to you know what you're going to do have the right combination have the parts work together nicely and you can have a really really nice build anyways 
Um, I hope this video was helpful of kind of breaking down what a cam swap costs me and what it can cost you if you want to go through the whole motor and do, you know, what all the guys say you should do. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Later.